Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, before we start in today's video, I really just want to say thank you to everybody who was who showed major love on the last video I did. A lot of you guys were sharing it. Um, we I think we gained probably like 30, a little bit over 30 subscribers since the last video. And you guys were liking and commenting and I really appreciate that. So I want to say thank you to all my family and friends. I have amazing friends and amazing family who really showed up and showed out for me so i appreciate you guys this video is going to be a little bit different uh today i wanted to share with you guys my skincare routine so not anything like super makeup related but um i do believe that taking care of your skin is the number one way to have good looking makeup i gotta everybody know this because if you don't know me when i was younger i used to have really bad acne super bad and i think it just came with puberty and growing older because it was it only lasted for probably my middle school high school years and then as i started getting older it eventually like my skin just started clearing up but i did use some really good products that i want to share with you guys today that i still use to this day some i'm gonna be honest my skincare routine isn't like set in stone you know like i use these products for five years i have tried a couple things i do want to share those with you all today here we go the first product that i have is the clean and clear morning burst hydrating facial cleanser how many times can you say that without getting tongue-tied okay uh i'm actually almost out of this as you can see i literally have only like that much left um i use this one my sister used the orange one it's like the morning burst um she likes that one i like this one better and i think this is the main product that has held it down for me <laughs> throughout all the years i use this to um sometimes take off my makeup it has a little drip anyways sometimes if i have like hard makeup that really doesn't want to come off i'll put just a little bit of this to kind of loosen up the makeup and make it easier to come off and it really does a job i use this every morning every night um, even if I don't wear makeup, I still, that's the thing. Even if you don't wear makeup, if you're watching this video and you're like, I really, I'm really not, you know, I don't wear a lot of makeup. It is still very beneficial to invest into a good facial cleanser because throughout the day, your face is coming in contact with a lot of dirt, um, pollen, just things that are going around in the area. Uh, so I would definitely recommend to get a very good um, cleanser it works miracles and i love this and this has never given me any problems so love this but after i do my cleanser i love jumping in to my moisturizer the last video the last makeup tutorial i did i used this before I'm, i applied my makeup so i'm gonna just read what it says it's the freeman feeling beautiful okay you can get this anywhere at hb or walmart cvs walgreens literally anywhere and it's the hydrating gel cream mask it's a leave-on mask that instantly calms and softens for glowing skin. So, last video, I said that I actually got this on accident, and I'm going to tell you why. I, I watched it back, and I never really told you why. Me and my sister were looking for a mask one time at Walmart. We wanted to try something new. We were kind of tired of what we were using already. And so, we saw this, and we kind of read everything, you know, like it softens, glows the skin. But if you know anything about Freeman is they have a couple different products that it do actually a couple different things i'm going to mention this one later and uh, we always use the mask from this brand because we actually really do like the mask from this brand well we didn't know we saw gel cream mask but we just thought it's a gel mask you know whatever so we put this on and we waited and like it never got hard it let, we we were expecting it wasn't a clay mask so we knew you know it wasn't gonna dry we we're like okay maybe it's a peel mask like we waited never came off so a gel cream mask this one it says apply to clean face and neck avoiding contact with eyes remember that's why my eyes started watering in the last video because i got too close to my eyes leave on for 10 to 15 minutes all day or overnight the gel cream absorbs into the skin with no need to rinse and no need to worry about getting it on your pillow use twice as weak as often so me i me and my sister we literally only use this much and it's literally a cream i mean you saw in the last video it's kind of hard to tell but i just wanted to show you guys that a little goes a long way so i don't use a lot of this so i do use this every night when i first get out the shower i love using this 
product after the one I just showed you the clean and clear facial cleanser I'll use this in the shower and then when I get out dry my hair brush my hair I like applying this and just letting this soak into my skin all night I really really like this product um, like it says it's soft my skin has gone way softer and the reason why I actually use this before my makeup is because it literally like it says where does it say it softens for glowing skin this y'all makes my pores invisible okay like I don't know what I was doing I just used it one time before my makeup I think because I, I, I was missing my moisturizer so I used this instead and literally to this day I have not went to anything I do not use a moisturizer I do not use a primer recently oh wow well recently I actually tried the elf putty primer and if you guys haven't tried this want a review on this want to know more about this let me know this is life-changing I've actually used this and this this first let it sit a little bit this in my Jesus I keep dropping everything this on my face first for a little while and then this really in like the main t-zone area so my nose and my cheeks is where I have it's where I had the most acne so my pores are a little bit bigger there this stuff literally it erases but anyways this whole bottle actually lasts me about a month and like I said it's a lot and you it, it's a big bottle and you don't need a lot so I really love it this is one of my favorite products and shout out to Freeman go ahead and just sponsor me okay because I love your products <laughs> next so after I do my cleanser, after I do the moisturizer, then I'll let that moisturizer sit and I'll go into the face serum. This face serum is like pure gold. I mean, it is so, it goes on so smoothly. It makes my skin feel really smooth. I really like it. I don't have anything to complain about this besides the fact that it's honestly been giving me soft skin and I haven't had soft skin guys. Like I... I had really bad again really bad acne and um, my face was very textured and it was dry and it was oily and it was a mess and I've so I've never really had like soft skin this stuff has given me soft skin and this stuff has really helped my face um, just become more healthy more glow I, I really do like it so that's this year then whenever I'm done with the serum, I'll go in with the toner. So this is a spray that I, I'm not going to spray because I'm running low, but this is a spray and I really love this. This comes, I'm sorry, I didn't even say what was in the, the face serum. So this has rose water, witch hazel, and glycerin in it. And I really love this. It says, um, gently massage two, three drops of this serum onto your face and neck morning and night. So that's the serum. Now this spray has rose water, witch hazel, vitamin C, and glycerin. And this one says shake well before use. Each evening after cleansing, spray two to three spritz onto cleansing uh, cotton pad and gently apply to face and circular motions, avoiding the eye and the lip area. Avoiding. Okay, anyways. I spray this after I, after I clean my face and I let those moisturizers really, and the moisturizer and the serum really soak into my face. I'll uh, spray this on top and... I feel like this right here just holds everything in and I know toners you're supposed to use kind of differently but there's just something about this one where I feel like when I spray it it locks everything in and it just really I really just let it soak into my skin so this is more of like my nighttime routine of things that I do at night before I go to bed after I get out the shower um, I also have some things that I put in my hair after the shower so if you guys would even like to see maybe a hair care routine then let me know I don't have those products with me right now but if that's a video that you would like to see next let me know because I actually do put a lot of different things into my hair after the shower so let me know but anyways yes this is more the nighttime so then I'll spray my toner the two products that I saved for the end are the mask because the mask I don't wear every day um, I wear I, I try to use a mask at least one maybe two times a week but I really do like to stick to just one because I don't want to overdo it also if uh, you want to be careful when you apply mask okay if you have an event coming up or something a special kind of occasion coming up you don't want to use a mask like two to three days before you want to try to apply the mask at least a week before because here's a misconception that a lot of people have about masks that I that I think is kind of um, 
kind of twisted that I really had to, I think my tia taught me this and I had to teach my sister. Um, people think, you know, after you do a mask and then your face breaks out that it's a bad mask. That could be the case, but more than likely what a mask job is supposed to do is to get into those pores and pull everything that is um, stuffed into your pores, like all the pollen, all the dust, all the dirt that's flying around. It's supposed to grab those and pull it to the surface. And so that's why you actually do get a couple of breakouts after a mask because what is basically your mask is kind of working in the sense because it's grabbing all those things that were dirty into your skin and it's pulling them to the surface so they can come out so if you get pimples after masks do not pop them do not pop them i learned that the very hard way do not pop them let those areas just be calm and and go away when they want because more than likely if you pop them all those things that were in your face if you pop it you're just spreading those germs and well i don't want to say germs but you're just spreading that junk all over your face and then that's just causing a whole different kind of area so that's that about masks the one I use is, again, this is probably my favorite one. I have this one that came with the set, but this is probably my favorite one. This is, again, the Freeman. The This is the Pore Cleansing Volcanic. Volcanic? 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 Don't judge me. Peel Off Gel Mask. So this is not a clay mask. This is what me and my sister thought we were trying to buy that one time, but we didn't. So this is a gel cream mask. This is a peel off gel mask gel cream gel pill off different i know so um so me and my sister really like this one it deep cleans tones and clears pores this mask is so i've used a lot of masks in the past and there's in the past and there's been some that uh, make my skin burn if, if you you know the moment you put it on or it kind of makes my face feel fine. I don't know. I just, I mean, you know the vibes. You know what I'm saying? You know whenever you put something on your face, whether you're going to like it or not. Me and my sister actually really like this. This is the one we love. It's really soft on our skin, and we see really fast results after we use it. So we love this one. Now, the other one is a by By Nature, and it's that brand that I was talking about earlier. And this is a pink clay plus witch hazel and rose water purifying clay mask. I like this one. Is it my favorite? No, but I definitely use this one probably. I, I try to go back and forth between these two. So this one week, this next week, this one week, this one next. Uh, I can't even talk. But this one says, um, by nature purifying clay mask with pink clay, rose water, witch hazel helps refine the skin's appearance by brightening, smoothing, and drawing out unwanted impurity. So again, a clay mask its job is to get in there and to clear out all those pores and pull that to the surface so it can get out of your face apply a thin and even layer to the skin avoiding sensitive eye and lip area the natural clays get to work by gently drawing out deep down impurities leave for 10 minutes for the mask to work its magic rinse well and pat dry the thing that i really like about this brand by nature from new zealand that's what it's called is i never feel i mean like i said you know you know you know like you put on products on your face that don't feel comfortable that feel greasy slimy these products really never make my face feel that way i think that's why i like them so much it's called by nature i mean they're cruelty free um no parabens or nasty chemicals in their products so it really does feel like soft like or like you can tell it's organic and it's good products that are being put into my face so i really like this set like i said that was more of my nighttime routine in the morning it's really nothing different in the morning i try to again rinse my face uh, because with all these products on there i really just want to uh, get the excess um stuff that was left on my face i really just want to get a clear slate for the rest of the day so i'll use my cleanser and then i'll use this on top and that's pretty much all i do for my morning routine if i'm doing makeup then i'm using the primers or uh, if i'm not doing makeup then you know this this is well enough for me i also use this um a hundred percent organic coconut oil and it says moisturizing relief for super dry skin and this is actually cold press so if you don't know what it is let me open it. literally y'all i've been using this for a year and a half 
and look that's all I have left can you see that it's cold pressed so when you you put it on your fingers you warm it up and it turns into like a, you know coconut oil it turns into the oil so I actually like put in this product on my lips I've been doing this for about a year and a half and it's worked really 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 good for me I love I love this stuff I love the way it smells love the way it makes my lips feel and look you know now you gotta switch on your lips um but i've been using this for a year and a half i really love it and you can use this anywhere i mean i don't only use it on my lips sometimes you know during the winter i was going through you know it's a dry season so you can put this on your ankles your elbows um you can pretty much use this like lotion i mean anywhere you want to but this is really good um and i really 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 like it so i would invest into it if you haven't so that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know this was a shorter video. I really don't like using a ton of different products on my face, even though I do use a couple. I mean, they are the same brand, you know, the Freeman and then the By Nature products and then Clean and Clear. Um, so even though I do use quite a couple, it's not this, it's the same brand. So I'm making sure I'm not using a whole bunch of stuff on my face. But again, this is not you know whatever works for you this is what's worked for me right now like i said my skincare and my skin uh care routine actually changes quite a while because i, I find new products i like new things and um i just want my skin to continue you know being healthy and and glowy and if you're dealing with you know acne and maybe you feel like some products can't control it then i would definitely recommend go and talk to your doctor i had to do that at one point because like I said, my face was just so bad. But the main thing is not to be touching your face or not to be popping pimples or zits or zits or scars or whatever. Because to this day, I do actually deal with some uh, scarring from all the squeezing and popping. And I, I know what that's like. So I would definitely recommend uh, if you don't have any skincare products, maybe look in, into getting some of these. These are all affordable. These are all affordable, I would say, have to be under like 20 bucks. I wouldn't say 10, I don't know about 10, maybe. It, it, all these are probably about under 20 to 15 bucks, they're not a lot. And so I would just recommend, you know, grabbing some of these products or grabbing products you have and really stick into a skincare routine. Because again, I believe the goal to have fresh, good, dewy looking makeup is to have a really good skin because if your foundation is not set right, and I'm not talking about foundation, okay? I'm talking about your skin. If your skin is not prepped, if it's not set right, then everything else on top of it is really gonna be a little bit cakey. And like I said, I've been there before, so I understand. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video. Comment down below if you want to see that hair care routine, okay? Uh, I've been going through a journey with my hair since we've been in quarantine. Uh, I think the last time I actually put heat on it was probably a couple weeks ago. But since February, I haven't been putting no heat on my hair. And so I actually been doing no heat and then adding some more oils and different things like that. So if that's something you would like to see, comment down below, let your girl know. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. And we out. <laughs> Bye.